Hello everyone, I'm Amir Hossein and welcome to another training video. In this video, we will make a contour plot of one variable of the WARF model output. So first of all, let me open the name list. In the name list, uh, the first section, you, you, you can see the first section which I discussed, I have already discussed in the previous uh, videos. And here you see another section which is related to WARF contour plot. Inside this section, you can see several subsections. For example, the first subsection, it is related to uh, a line contour. So by uh, setting this subsection, you can control how to manage, how to plot a contour, um, a contour plot, a line contour plot. The second subsection is also related to line contour. So if you use both of the, these subsections, you will have two variables overlaid or superimposed in the same plot. And also we have here another subsection which is related to shaded contour. So it means that if you use all of these three subsections, you will have three variables overlaid or superimposed in the same plot. The second subsection is related to wind vector, so you can overlay wind vector over your plot. And the last section is about uh, overlaying points or locations on your plot as well as shape files that I will discuss probably in the uh, next videos. So let me um, show you how to plot contours for one variable. The first subsection, um, for doing so, you, you have to enable the subsection for contour plots. So the first subsection is enabled, is already enabled. Uh, you have to disable the other subsections. Before that, before that, the whole section should be enabled. I enable this section and I disable the other section. Okay, now WARF contour plot is activated. If you run post WARF, WARF contour plot uh, will be run. This subsection is already disabled and this subsection or disable this subsection because I just want to plot one variable. Wind vectors is disabled and also locations and uh, shape files are also disabled. So let me uh, choose temperature. Temperature in WARF model is called T2. As far as I remember, let me test it. Let me test it. You can run post wharf by D dash D and it shows you which variables you can choose. And temperature is called TC. TC is the name of temperature. So I get back to name list and modify it, its name to TC. So TC means temperature over atmospheric variables. The pressure level, the, the next parameter, you can set your pressure level, uh, the atmospheric pressure level that you want to uh, make your plot. I set it to, let's say, uh, 450 hectopascal. Variable intervals, uh, the distance between your contour, contour lines I leave it to be 5 degrees. 5, five degrees is uh, quite reasonable for temperature, but you can change that. Um, let me put it 7. Yeah. Line color, red is okay, but let me change it to black or red. Let me leave it to be red. Red is okay. And thickness and label size they are the values for thickness and label size can be a value between 0 and 1 so if you put here 0 it means the minimum thickness and if you put here 1 it means maximum thickness so let me leave it to be half or 0 0.5 0 0.5 is the average 
value for thickness and size okay I save it and run post wharf post wharf looks for wharf data in the current directory I choose uh, number let's say number two time steps I uh, push enter here to get all time steps and format of the images x11 I don't want it to be saved you can see here that temperature at 450 hectopascal is plotted for me and uh, the interval between line contours uh, are the interval is actually seven degrees as we set in the name list so you can easily plot your uh, contour plot make your contour plot for one variable